there I was in what seemed to be the most desolate place on earth, in the middle of a snowstorm. The airport looked like an old rundown hangar or barn. The plane looked like it had been in use since World War II. The only problem was it was 2003. It was one week before Christmas, and all I could think about was getting home. Home to the traditions I loved, home for the holiday uh, joy that comes with Christmas time, and home to my little boy who was waiting for his parents who were halfway around the world. The airport had been closed for most of the day, but they had decided to open it that evening, and we were scheduled to take off at 10 p.m. Despite the fact that it was still, sto still snowing, and even if I could have asked if they were going to de-ice the plane, no one would have understood me in this industrial town in the middle of Russia, which was not too far from Siberia. As we began to taxi and take off, my wife gripped my hand like a vice, and we prayed together, asking God to please just let us get home and that we would not die trying. While it might seem that this was a scary and hopeless situation, it was child's play compared to what we were coming home to. Hi, I'm Eric Harrison, and in this video, I want to challenge you to think of the scariest thing you've ever done. Maybe it's just as dramatic as my story, but whether it is or not, what I really want to challenge you to do is to think about that thing that you have always wanted to do, but have been too afraid to try. If you want to see how my story ends, be sure to stick around to the end. It will be worth the investment of your time. But first, let's talk about what you want. I want to take just a moment with me, and I want to ask you to do something unusual. But I want you to close your eyes. Just go ahead and do it while you're watching this video. Close your eyes. Think deeply and visualize the one thing in your life that if you could do it, or if you could be it, or if you could have it, that you would be more full and more fulfilled than you've ever been. Take a deep breath and feel with all of your senses how it looks, how it sounds, and how it feels. Imagine how it might not only change your perceptions of your own capabilities, but how it might encourage and inspire others. One more time, with your eyes still closed, take a deep breath and put yourself in that place. Okay, you can open your eyes. Now, before we unpack a little further, let me also address some of you who may say, but Eric, I really don't know what I want. That's okay too. If you're still tracking with me, then I believe that you have a deep burning desire that's living somewhere in the depths of your soul. Sure, you've had success in some areas of your life, maybe many areas of your life, but there's still that one thing, whether you know what it is in great detail or not, that lies within you that you want to unleash. Whether the vision is crystal clear or you've buried it for decades, covering it up with excuses, vices, or maybe simply by doing one of those things that you're good at, at the expense of the thing that you really want. I want to help you unpack it, and we'll do this by using a tool that I use in my coaching practice and that I've learned from my friend Tom Ziegler. It's called the Trinity of Transformation. 
Let's talk briefly about desire, hope, and grit. The three components in the Trinity Triangle are not only interrelated, but they must be taken in order to allow you to arrive at the transformation that you're after. As simply and as briefly as possible, here are the definitions of each. Desire is determining what you want. Hope is the belief that the achievement of your desires will give you the value and purpose that you want for your life. And grit is the skills, knowledge, attitudes, gifts, and talents that you need to develop and to work on relentlessly until you achieve your desires, no matter what. I go into a lot more detail this uh, of the Trinity of Transformation in my free weekly one-on-one -on -one calls that I offer on my website. If you're interested in exploring it further, you can click on the website um, and check that out. But suffice it to say, <clears throat> that with an unwavering desire, unlimited hope, and undeterred grit, anything is possible for you. Now, how can I say that so confidently? Well, here's the rest of my story. My wife and I had a son whose birth in itself was a miracle, as doctors never expected my wife to carry him to full term. And after that, despite our desire to have a big family, we were never able to have more children of our own, which led us to the middle of Russia in the dead of winter to bring home two young orphans who needed a family as much as we wanted more children. The journey home was only the beginning of a lifetime journey that continues today. Has it been easy? In many ways, it's the hardest thing that I and my wife have ever done. Has it been worth it? I'll let you take a look at this and tell me what you think. But I can tell you, I would not trade one minute of the adventure I've been on ever since we made the determination to travel halfway around the world to fulfill our desires and to bring those children home. So the truth is, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. But you know, really, that was almost 20 years ago now. And the question for me and the question for you is what's next? What have you been waiting your whole life to do that will give your life meaning and purpose? What will, your, what will your story be? Will you have stories and memories to share for the rest of your life? Will you leave a legacy that will outlive you? Don't get caught on the sidelines. Yes, doing something bigger than yourself is scary. No question about it. The only thing that I can imagine that would be worse is not trying. I can't wait to hear your story. I'm Eric Harrison, and I'm challenging you to live the life of your dreams, because when dreams become reality, your life becomes a dream. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate if you would like and share this video with others that you think would enjoy it as well, and I invite you to subscribe and to check out all the videos on my channel, which are intended to help you live the life of your dreams. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon in another video.